be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the University of Central Lancashire, I'm delighted to warmly welcome you here today for this graduation ceremony. On this special day, we are here to proudly celebrate the achievements of our students. I now call upon our Vice-Chancellor, Graham Baldwin, to give his address. Honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, graduands, it is a great pleasure to welcome you to this ceremony where we acknowledge and celebrate the achievements of our soon-to-be graduates. This is only the second time that we have held our ceremonies on our campus in 39 years, and I'm delighted that so many of you have been able to come and to experience this wonderful setting. I trust that you enjoy both the ceremony and the celebrations that will, I am sure, go on afterwards with your families and friends. Your studies here have prepared you well, and I am sure you will find that you now have a closer set of connections with the world around you. I hope as well as achieving your qualifications that you have also had a great time and that in years to come, when you are a member of our global alumni community, you will look back fondly on your time here and will keep in touch to share with us your successes. At Open Days, I point out that graduates tend to earn more over a lifetime than non-graduates. But more importantly, they tend to be healthier, happier, and to live longer. Remembering those facts will surely reassure you that the effort and commitment that you have invested in the last few years was well worth it. It also benefits the rest of us because graduates are more tolerant, more likely to vote and to volunteer, to provide a greater boost to economic growth and to increase productivity. So on behalf of all of us here, I thank you in advance for your future contribution. Of course, this means that as graduates, you have responsibilities and these can be quite daunting, but your education has prepared you well. The personal characteristics that you have displayed to get you here today, energy, commitment, tenacity, and an open mind will serve you well for the future and will help you to recognize and seize the opportunities that exist, albeit in an uncertain and ever-changing world. Therefore, you should leave this hall today with confidence, ambition, and a desire to make a difference. You are the future. The future chief executives, consultants, entrepreneurs, the future specialists, designers, artists of renown. You are truly the leaders of tomorrow. Now, life won't always be plain sailing, but during your studies, you have acquired a toolkit that will help you to navigate choppy waters. Your studies have prepared you such that although you can't direct the wind, you can adjust the sails. Here at the University of Central Lancashire, we are proud of our mission of transforming lives. Founded in Preston in 1828 as the Institution for the Diffusion of Knowledge, we have created new possibilities for many thousands of our graduates during our 190-year history. I hope that we have helped to transform your lives and opened up new worlds of possibilities by ensuring that you have the relevant knowledge, skills, and experiences to thrive wherever you came from and wherever you go to next. As you look to the future, enjoy the moment and particularly enjoy every moment of today. Share special moments with your friends from here and from home and with your families who have been on this journey of learning with you. Talking of which, before we celebrate your success, let's have a round of applause for all those special people, your family, your friends and your tutors who have supported you and who are celebrating with you here today. Please give all those people a massive round of applause. And now I think that uh, just about all the rest of the applause will be just for you. 
So for all of you who today become graduates of the university, I extend my warmest congratulations on your achievements. You have been taught by a dedicated group of academic staff who devote their professional lives to the teaching, learning and development of all our students. But you've also been supported by many highly dedicated and professional staff members who, whilst they often do not teach directly, have provided the service and infrastructure that have made your success at the university possible. And I would like to thank them all on your behalf. I am confident that with the right mindset, you will go out into the world and bring not only real economic and social benefit to yourself, but also to the communities of which you become members. So whatever you do next, and wherever in the world your journey leads you, you are all our ambassadors, and I hope at some stage you will choose to return here to your university. But for now, on behalf of everybody at the University of Central Lancashire, very well done, and good luck for a happy and successful future. Vice-Chancellor, the presentation of graduands and award holders will now take place. Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the Academic Board, I present those who have gained awards in the School of Community Health and Midwifery. For a thesis entitled UNICEF UK Baby Friendly Initiative, Performing, Receiving and Leading Infant Feeding Care in a Fast Food Maternity Service, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Anna Catherine Coonan Byram. in Integrative Psychotherapy, Cherie Deacon. Charlene Foley. Simon Thomas Throuts. Kevin James Loughran. Helen Mathias. <laughs> Sabila Paul Raza. Jade Marie Smith. <laughs> Megan Rosalind Tomlin. For Master of Science in Applied Public Health, Stephen Boydell. Christine Cullen. Gemma Katrina Jones. Sabahat Yunez. For Master of Science in Midwifery, Emma Jefferson. <laughs> Catherine Sandsby. <laughs> Nemi Temple Tobins. <laughs> Ruth Marie Shrireb. Master of Science in Safeguarding in an International Context, Amy Louise Appleton. <laughs> Nicola Jane Hughes. <laughs> P 
postgraduate diploma in com community specialist practitioner, community children's nursing, Charlotte Louise Mulvaney. <laughs> Lydia Jade Wright. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Integrative Psychotherapy, Karen Moore. <laughs> Carol Jane Roberts. Francis Mary Rose. For a postgraduate diploma in specialist community public health nurse, health visiting, Rachel Louise Naylor. Hajra Hussein. Postgraduate Certificate in Health and Social Care Education, Valerie Denewell. Jill Dobson. Anne Jarvis. Leah Kirk. <laughs> Patricia Simpson. <laughs> Postgraduate Certificate Practice Teacher, Helen Campbell Craig. <laughs> Marie Elizabeth Westwell. Postgraduate Certificate in Primary Care Mental Health Practice, John Fergie. <laughs> Leonie Emma May Graham. <laughs> Jessica Jones. <laughs> Misla Mananda. Mal Mohibula Chowdhury. For <laughs> graduate certificate in promoting psychological well-being, Michelle Lee. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Counselling and Psychotherapy Studies, Stacey Ann Boyle. Delight Michelle Chilo. <laughs> Kirsten Rebecca McMahon. <laughs> Caitlin Alicia O'Leary. <laughs> Grace Eve Winspear. For Bachelor of Science with Honours in Community Specialist Practitioner, Community Children's Nursing, Susan Simpson. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Community Specialist Practitioner, Community Nursing in the Home, Sandra Carr. <laughs> Stephanie Helen Cheatham. Leonie Jane Holland. <laughs> Joanne Horton. <laughs> Laura Catherine Kerr. <laughs> Rachel Louise Liptrot. And with a Philip Goodeve Docker Memorial Prize, Yvonne Manning. <laughs> Laura Grace Maguire. <laughs> Lynn.
Leanne McNair. Susan Murray. Diane Elizabeth Pugh. Hayley Renane. Gemma Stewart Abel. The Bachelor of Science with Honours in Health and Social Care, Anissa Asif. Zoe Louise Briggs. Shimea Lankisha K. Chance Gordon. Megan Louise Jackson. Charis Kirkham. Lauren Nelson Brown. And with the school prize for the highest academic achiever, Maru Rigby. Leona Marie Scott. <laughs> Megan Judith Topping. <laughs> Helen Claire Waddington. <laughs> Amy Louise Walsh. David John Paul Williams. Fiona Caroline Williams. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Midwifery, Autumn Louise Arnfield. Karen Louise Bolton. Sally Ann Bradshaw. Abby Brown. Nalisha Tracy Elf. Charlotte Sarah Entwistle. Jacqueline Sarah Gray. Kate Hankin. Katie Heaney. Deborah Hayes. Sarah Charlotte Kemsley. Amy Leeming. India May Lewis. Tina Michelle Nardone. Carly Louise Podmore. <laughs> Abigail Schofield. <laughs> and with the school prize for the highest academic achiever, Chloe Victoria Strand.
Bobby Joe Stubley. <laughs> Kaylee Sigourney Thornton. Sean Ellis Walker. <laughs> Philippa Whitaker. <laughs> the Bachelor of Science with Honours in Sexual Health Practice, Andrew John Scarborough Barnes. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Sexual Health Studies, Zoe Ann Brooks. <laughs> Lauren Elizabeth Grundy. <laughs> Isabel Hewitson. <laughs> Maddie Holden. Delicia Kelly. Sarah Elaine Moore. Chancel Muktu. Joanne Stewart. Alisa Watkinson. Bachelor of Science in Sexual Health Studies, Kadeen Stewart. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Specialist Community Public Health Nurse, School Nursing, Sarah Da Silva Cortez. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Special Community Public Health Nurse, Health Visiting and with the Dora Roylands Memorial Prize, Atifa Desai. <laughs> and with the Helen Jameson Award, Amanda Jane Lomax. <laughs> Foundation degree in Science in Health and Social Care, Assistant Practitioner, Dawn Allison. <laughs> Abby Bewley. <laughs> Amy Louise Cherry. <laughs> Louise Collins. <laughs> Amanda Cregan. Victoria Ann Crompton. Simon Dalton. Michelle Louise Davis. Jacqueline Dawson. Heather Jane Dixon. Sarah Dixon. Emily Elliott. Alicia Nevada Grimshaw. Alison Hall. Claire Michelle Hampshire. Zoe Marie Hampton. Laura Ann Henley. Laura Ann Hook. <laughs> Dina Ayrton. <laughs> Sarah, 
Sasha Jones. Amanda Marie McFarlane. Sophie Adele Marsden. Heather Mason. Nina McCallion. Lisa McCluskey. Jennifer Kerry Moore. Karis Georgina Riley. Claire Louise Ripley. Stephanie Roberts. Claire Rossi. Claire Michelle Rossery. And with the school prize for the highest academic achiever, achiever Daniel Adam Spencer. <laughs> Kathleen Storey. Lisa Wilson. <laughs> Kerry Witherington. <laughs> For a diploma in higher education in counselling and psychotherapy studies, Tamzine Din. <laughs> For a diploma in higher education in sexual health studies, Hayley Ann Kirby. <laughs> Vice-Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of awards from the School of Community Health and Midwifery. Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the Academic Board, I present those who have gained awards in the School of Pharmacy and Biomedical Sciences. For a thesis entitled Vibrational Spectroscopy of Biofluids Towards Disease Diagnosis, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Maria Parascaveda. For a thesis entitled The Role of Dynamins in the Fusion of Synaptic Vesicles and Their Subsequent Recycling, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Adam Rostron. For a thesis entitled Engineering Immediate Release Tablets with Customised Design and Drug Combination via Fused Deposition Modelling 3D Printing, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Musna Sadia. For a thesis entitled Molecular Determinants of Astrocyte Morphofunction Changes in Alzheimer's Disease, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Nora Eliza Alzheimer.
Master of Research in Neuroscience, Victor Anukam. Luke Dean Arnold. Lauren Nicole Ann Kavanagh. Master of Science in Industrial Pharmaceutics, Agra Joy. Master of Pharmacy with Honours, Ida Bejanpur. Samia Rani Hussain. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Biological Sciences, Sadia Saeed. <laughs> Mohammed Zubair Ahmed. Zuleika Akhtar. <laughs> Hamza Nabil Al Bahadar. <laughs> Rhoda Abdulrahman Al Kaja. <laughs> Sophie Jane Bell. Umberto Geracci. <laughs> Noman Jan. <laughs> Mada Kande. <laughs> Asia Khan. Ryan Paradze. <laughs> Blessing Danani Sudomba. <laughs> Mohammed Shuib. <laughs> Sophie Williamson. Master of Science in Sexual Health Studies, Sabonil Mervis Dub. <laughs> Master of Science in Industrial Pharmaceutics, Godson Chaimika Obasi. Vice-Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of awards from the School of Pharmacy and Biomedical Sciences. Vice-Chancellor, the presentations are completed. I call on Daniel Carver, Vice President Media, from the Students' Union of the University of Central Lancashire to respond on behalf of those awarded today. Hello. <sighs> Vice-Chancellor, families, friends, loved ones, and of course, graduates. I am honored and grateful to stand here before you today and speak on behalf of students. Well, it's finally here, a day that you've all no doubt been dreaming of for a long time. Today is the day that you officially become graduates. And that's no small feat. Being a graduate, means you are the vanguard of knowledge for future generations. 
Being a graduate means you have proven you possess the skills, the knowledge, and determination to make a difference. Being a graduate is the end of one journey and the beginning of another. For tomorrow, you begin your days in the graduate world where you will no doubt go forth and seek your future and accomplish incredible things and make your mark on the world. Now, when you gaze upon your hard-earned degree, talk about your time at university and bask in the admiration of your friends and family, it's important to remember that your course is only one part of this unforgettable experience. The people that you met and the memories that you have created together make each of your journeys to graduation special and unique. You may have joined a sports team, found friends for life in a student society, or led a volunteering project that you were passionate about. You may have been a representative yourself or led campaigns to help create meaningful change and truly make life better for students. Whatever it was, it has helped to transform you into the graduates that I see before me today. They say that you are the leaders of tomorrow, but many of you are leaders here and now. My friends, do not wait for the opportunities and experiences to find you. Embrace the world that awaits you. Use the determination that you have shown in these last few years and seek out your future. Make the absolute best of the strong foundations that you have laid here, starting with your graduation. You have the knowledge, you have the determination. Go out there and begin the first steps to making your future. Take risks. Don't be afraid to take risks to achieve what you want from life. If you never take a risk and always play it safe, you will never achieve your full potential. Michelangelo said that the greater danger for most of us lies not in setting our aim too high and falling short, but in setting our aim too low and achieving our mark. When you begin your graduate journey, set your aim high. And no matter what happens, keep looking at your goal. Never lose sight of it. And never think that this is out of your reach. Because the moment you begin to doubt yourself, the moment you begin to believe you can't reach your goal, that's when you begin to fall behind. So don't be afraid of taking risks. And don't be afraid of failing either. It might sound odd that I'm telling you not to be afraid of failure, but when we fail, it is not the be-all and end-all of our journey. Failure doesn't mean that you can't reach your goal. It means that you've just got to try another way. Arnold Schwarzenegger said, you cannot fail forever. If you try 10 times, you have a better chance of making it on the 11th try than if you didn't try at all. The most successful people in history have failed at some point in their careers, sometimes multiple times. Steve Jobs created many failed products before hitting success with the iPhone. Michael Jordan, one of the greatest basketball players that ever lived, missed over 9,000 shots in his career. J.K. Rowling had 12 Major publishers reject Harry Potter before it was published. History is littered with people who have failed multiple times. But we don't remember these people for their failures. We remember them because of their successes and all that they've achieved. These people and many others took risks because they believed in their goal. They believed in themselves and they never lost sight of their success. Everyone fails at some point. So, don't be afraid of failure. When you hit the mat, don't stay down. Get back up and keep working towards your goals. And remember, rock bottom may seem scary, but it can also be a great place to lay the foundations for something amazing. 
And finally, when you do reach success, make sure to give something back. When you've reached your goal, don't forget to pay homage to everyone that helped you. Share your success with others. Influence those who, like you are now, are ready to take on the world. Tell them how you've done it and encourage them to reach their full potential so that one day they may build upon the successes that you've achieved. That is how we influence, impact, and change the world around us for the better. That is how legacies are made. I would like to thank the families, the friends, university staff, and loved ones that have joined you here today and supported you throughout your UCLan journey. I wish you all the best for the future, the class of 2019, and your students' union hopes to see you again. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce Jenny Williams. Powerhouse vocalist Jenny Williams is recognised for her ability to sing almost any genre with style, class and distinction. But it all started here at UCLan. Graduating in 2008, Jenny gained her BA Ons degree in music theatre. After her studies at UCLan, Jenny gained extensive classical training and has since gone on to become one of the most sought after artists in demand all over the world. Highlights of her career so far have been performing at Wembley Stadium, the BBC Proms, Stars Sing for Charity with Sir Cliff Richard, Inspiration Awards UK and USA, and various concerts with the Liverpool Philharmonic and Manchester Camerata Orchestras, starring alongside the likes of Leslie Garrett, Beverly Knight, and Alexandra Burke. Jenny is honoured to be asked to perform here today at UCLan and wishes all graduates good luck for the future. Every day of your life, for as long as you live, life every mountain, ford every stream, follow every people.
Today is, of course, a day of great celebration for everyone here, and we need to make sure that we celebrate in an appropriate way. Family and friends, there's a great photo and video opportunity coming up, so you might want to have your cameras at the ready. Could I please ask all the graduates to stand and take off your mortarboards? This will be a great relief to many of you, as I've seen how precariously some of them have been balancing on your heads. So in a moment, I'm going to ask you to throw your mortarboards up into the air in recognition of all your hard work and achievements. However, please, please be careful. You don't want to throw it too high or too far because it is now your mortarboard for you to keep and take home. So, on a count of three, I want you all to throw your mortarboards in the air and give a big cheer. Then we will all follow with a further three cheers. One, two, three. Yeah. Hip, hip. Yeah. Hip, hip. Yeah. Hip, hip. Yeah. hip, hip. Yeah. Now please sit down for one final time. As we bring this ceremony to a close, I would like to thank everyone who's been involved in making today such a happy and memorable occasion. And thank you all for coming and sharing this special day with our university community. The platform party will now leave the stage and graduates, you will shortly be processing out of the hall past a guard of honor in the central aisle. A university usher will prompt your row when you need to stand up. And please make sure you take all of your belongings with you. Guests, please may I ask that you all remain seated until the students have left the hall. You will then be guided by the ushers to rejoin your graduates in foster building for ongoing celebrations. Thank you. Stay close to me. 